Hello everyone, welcome back. So we're still talking about quadratic equations in one variable. We are done with the two methods in solving quadratic equations. We are done with factoring and the square root property. If you may need to review them before you, we go to completing the square, please do so. Okay, so completing the square is our topic for this video. Not all quadratic equations can be factored or can be solved in their original form using the square root property. In these cases, we may use a method for solving a quadratic equation known as completing the square. So to complete the square of x squared plus bx, we add the square of one half the coefficient of x, that is we will add b over 2 squared. Observe that this rule for completing the square applies only to a quadratic expression of the form x squared plus bx, where the coefficient of the second degree term is 1. We shall illustrate this one in the following examples. So, solve the following quadratic equations by completing the square. x squared plus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, so to complete the square, to solve this one using completing the square, the first step is to transpose this constant term to the other side of the equation. So, the equation now becomes x squared plus 4x is equal to negative 1, okay? And then we are going to complete the square, uh, the left side. We have x squared plus 4x. The question here is, what shall we add to x squared plus 4x to complete the square? And that was already answered in the previous slide. We will add b squared or b over 2, divide lang natin ng 2, and then square. Okay, yan. So, in this case, the value of b is 4. Itong 4 na to, okay? So, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and then we square, so that's 4. So, we are going to add 4 to both sides of the equation. So, that's x squared plus 4x plus 4 is equal to negative 1. So whatever we added on the left side of the equation shall be added on the right side of the equation as well. So the left side is already a perfect square and this can be factored as x plus 2 squared. Okay, so equals negative 1 plus 4 is positive, positive 3. And then, we can use the square root property to extract this, the, the root here. Okay, we take the square root of both sides. So, we are left with x plus 2 is equal to positive and negative square root of 3. Okay, that's based from the square root property. Okay, and to solve for x, we need to transpose 2 to the other side of the equation. Therefore, x is equal to negative 2 plus minus square root of 3. Okay, so therefore, the solution set is, okay, so the solution set is okay, negative 2 minus square root of 3 and negative 2 plus is square root of 3. Okay, that is the answer for this example. Okay, we are going to use completing the square to solve another example. So we have here 3x squared minus 2x minus 6 is equal to 0. Okay, just like what we did. In the previous example, we are going to transpose negative 6 to the right side of the equation. So we have 3x squared minus 2x is equal to positive 6. Okay. Remember, based from the definition of completing the square, 
we can only complete the square when the coefficient you know, of x squared is 1. So we cannot immediately complete the square in this case. So ano ang gagawin natin para makakomplete the square tayo dito? We need to factor out 3. Okay, factor out 3. If we factor out 3 here, so that's 3 and x squared minus this now becomes 2 over 3x okay equals uh, 6 okay and then we can divide both sides by 3 to eliminate the 3 or you can immediately divide 3 doon dito sa first line natin okay that is also correct so x squared minus 2 over 3x is equal to 6 divided by 3 is 2 Okay, so this time we can now complete the square of the left side of the equation because the coefficient of x squared is 1. Okay, so what are we going to add? We are going to add negative 2 over 3 divided by 2. Uh, that's 1 third, right? That's 1 third. And then square of 1 third is 1 over 9. Okay, I'm going to use different color for uh, what shall we add okay let me write in here what shall we add to complete the square okay so get negative 2 over 3 we divide this by divide by 2 okay so the answer here is you know how to divide already that's uh, 2 third times one half right so this is negative one third but we need to square okay the so negative one third square is one over nine so we are going to add one over nine okay so this now becomes x squared minus two over three x plus 1 over 9 remember whatever you add to the left side of the equation will be added to the right side of the equation as well okay now the left part or left side of the equation is a perfect square that's x minus one third whatever your answer here is the term theta so x minus one third yeah so ayan siya na yan minus one third square is equal to what is 2 plus 1 over 9 okay 2 plus 1 over 9 is 19 over 9 okay so that's 19 over 9 okay so okay let me erase this one erase ko to para meron tayong uh, space to write our solution I taas ko to okay yan okay and then by square root property we take the square root of both sides we have x minus one third is equal to the square root of 19 over 9 itong square root of 9 is per uh, real number perfect ayan rational so square root of 19 over 3 so positive and negative square root of 19 over 3 now to solve for x we need to transform uh, transpose negative one third to the other side so we have x is equal to one third plus minus square root of 19 over 3 since uh, they have the same denominator we can write this as x is 1 plus or minus square root of 19 over 3 so the solution set the solution set so 1 minus square root of 19 over 3 and 1 plus square root of 19 over 3 and yeah, so so that's the answer for this problem.